Children are a precious gift from God. They're very important. They're the motivation to our life. Their existence beautifies life for any man or woman. They give joy and happiness requisite with our karma. There's no greater satisfaction for a father or mother than upbringing a virtuous and educated child. We coach them in life ahead when the children return the affection in old age. You feel your life is worth lived and can happily look forward to the future. They help us to learn. They help us to realize ourselves and to change our views about life. They transform us how much ever bad we are. Even if we lost our hopes in life, when we see a child, we gain some confidence. They rekindle our hope. They make us want to live. The feeling of taking care of someone else's child as your own and giving it the care and love that it deserves is the best feeling in the world. They let us discover that there's such things as love at first sight and take part in the miracle of life. Also, they help us know the value of suffering unconditional and selfless love for the sake of someone else. They educate us to function as teachers, coaches, promoters, mentors, counselors, doctors, friends, and parents. However, some parents seem selfish and self-interested in some cases. They search only for their private interests, regardless of their kids. On asking them, they justify their bad behaviors and manners towards their children, saying that they restrain their freedom. They think that kids are a source of continuous disturbance and noise. Children are time-consuming, so they become irresponsible and careless about their children. This story will show how cruel a mother can be and how God punishes her at the end. Olivia was an ambitious young girl. She was in love with her neighbor. His name was William. In return, William did not love Olivia truly. He pretended to be in love with her in order to be able to take money from her at any time. Olivia didn't know the real bad intentions of William. Olivia worked as a saleswoman. She got quite a good salary. Olivia lived with her mother. She had no sisters or brothers. Olivia's mother, Ava, always advised Olivia to cut her relationship with William, but Olivia didn't care about anything her mother said. For example, Ava said, You must abandon William, Olivia. He's a bad young man. All the people here in the area hate him because of his bad manners and greed. I'm afraid that he may cause harm for you. In fact, he doesn't love you. He's interested in your monthly wage. He's selfish and greedy. William does not fit you. You are still naive and ill-experienced. You must listen to my opinion carefully. At the end, you'll realize that I have the right in everything I am saying to you. Olivia replied, No, mother, William does love me. He's a good man. The people here are talking badly about him because all they feel jealousy of him because he's more handsome and more self-confident than them. William has some problems in his work, so he takes money from me as a debt. He promised to return the money back to me after he fixed the problems. William's not as bad as you think. He's pure inside. I am well aware of his intentions. He is honest and loyal. I hope he becomes the most successful businessman ever in the world. So it's clear that Olivia was stubborn and opinionated. William always told Olivia how much he loved her, saying, I love you very much, Olivia. You are my old love. You are the nicest thing in my life. I cannot imagine my life without you. Do not believe those who attempted to face my profile in front of your eyes. I love you truly. They envy me because I am the lover of the most beautiful woman in the world. They try to destroy our love. Do not listen to them, please. I have good news for you. I am about to be promoted sooner. I'll give you all your money back. In fact, William was a liar. He took Olivia's money and spent them on playing gambling. Also, William made relations with girls and gave them money in return. All the bad talk about William in the district was true. But Olivia was still blind. William was fed up with Olivia. He decided to abandon her as he intended to travel abroad. He fabricated a lie. William disappeared suddenly. He asked his friend to tell Olivia that he died in an accident. Olivia was brokenhearted. Olivia suffered greatly. She locked herself in the house and decided not to talk to anybody. Olivia was depressed, disappointed, and hopeless. She stopped working. All she was doing at that time was to hold William's picture crying. Olivia was a true lover. Ava could not stand seeing her daughter in such a bad state. Ava encouraged Olivia to stand up again and start continuing her life again. She said, you must be strong, Olivia. You must go back to your job. Life does not stop. It goes on. You're strong, dear. I am sure that you'll have a good future. You are smart and intelligent. It will be good for you to go through new experiences. Give yourself a chance to taste life in a new, different way. Take new courses, for example. Befriend new persons. 
try to find a true hobby. I believe you can do amazing things. For the first time, Olivia listened to her mother's advice. She tried to overcome her sorrows and misfortunes. She went back to her work. Olivia's manager admired her. He revealed his desire to marry her. Olivia did not give him any attention as she had decided not to fall in love with any other person rather than William. After Ava knew about the man's true love for Olivia, she insisted that she must let Olivia change her opinion about matters of love and marriage. Ava said, This man seems to love you truly. He contacted me and told me that he wants to marry you. He is honest and faithful. You should try to open your heart for him. William's not here anymore and he'll never come back, so look to your future. All girls at your age living with their husbands now happily and have children. Marriage is an important situation created by man. It's lasted for several thousand years and is still popular world over. There has to be some good reason for the people to get married. Marriage is the greatest responsibility that exists between two people. Husbands and wives are often called life partners because their relationship lasts for life. You have to take care of each other for life. It's difficult to trust people while sharing your deepest thoughts because they can expose your vulnerabilities to the world. You can trust your spouse most for sharing all your thoughts and feelings. When married couples have children, the relationship is taken to the next level. Married couples can take care of children in the best manner because children can get the love and affection of both father and mother. A child brought up by one parent misses part of the love forever. Children make the couples happy and give them a purpose to life beyond participating in the rat race. Man and woman are not complete in themselves as nature has distributed its bounty between them. When they are together as one, they get fulfilled as the other partner completes what one partner lacks. Married couples are required by the society to be loyal to each other. You can have several friends, but only one person whom you love. This loyalty provides a solid base on which you feel secure in the world where everything is so shaky and temporary. You feel blessed to have a loyal partner. It's great to have a friend who is always at your side in the time of your highs and lows. In bad times, even the good friends leave except the spouse. The glue of relationship between married couple is love. Their love has all the colors that love consists of. It may start with physical level, but then evolves to higher levels of emotional and spiritual fulfillment. Their love is sacred and holy due to the invocation of religion in every marriage. The sacred love binds the couples for life when other forms of love fail. To summarize, it's necessary for you to reconsider your views about life. Give man the opportunity to provide to you his true love, please. Olivia decided to accept the invitation of her manager, George, to meet him. George was a real gentleman. He loved Olivia very much. He bought her an expensive house where they would live together. Olivia agreed to get married to George as she found him kind-hearted. They got married. Olivia gave birth to a nice baby girl. They named her Jessie. Unfortunately, George died in an awful car accident. Olivia had to bring up Jessie alone. Olivia felt a little bit burdened, especially that her mother died also. So she had nobody to help her take care of the girl. Unexpectedly, William appeared out of the blue. He lost all of his money. He knew that Olivia had too much money, which her rich husband left for her. William went to visit Olivia. He told her that he had to lie upon her as he was very sick, and the doctors told him he would die soon. Olivia blamed him again, and he reassured to her that he was forced to do this in order to not let her cling to weak hopes. Olivia believed William. She decided to get rid of her daughter as she wanted to enjoy her life with William freely. Olivia was self-centered. She let her daughter, Jessie, alone in a deserted place. A kind man found the girl. He decided to take care of her as he was childless.